This man, Francis Marion, he'd been born down in what is now Berkeley County, Goatfield Plantation. But his family moved to near Georgetown when he was just a boy. After a little fling when he thought he might be a sailor, Francis Marion returned to the farm. When his father died, he sort of took charge of it as his older brothers married and moved away. And, but then when the Indian problem came in the 1760s, 1770s, he was a part of the militia. He didn't look like a soldier, but he knew how to fight. And when others broke and ran, and their men would not hold the ground, Marion explained and exhibited the fact that he could, and he did. And so in later years, 1770s and 1780s, when the American Revolution was being fought, Francis Marion was given permission to organize the Williamsburg militia. And they were fighting as guerrillas, although they didn't use that word. A guerrilla, he fights a little war. Uh, he's sort of an independent. He sort of picks off the last man as the unit passes by. And that's what Francis Marion did. And so he fought in what you and I call the PD. He fought uh, down in the Blue Savannah. He fought down in Britain's Neck. He fought in what are today the counties of things like Marion and Florence and Williamsburg, even Clarendon. And as gradually the rebels began to push the British back toward Charleston, where they came from, Marion and his men followed. On one occasion, when Francis Marion was chasing against the British, he chased against uh, one of the British commanders who was notoriously wicked, notoriously ruthless. His name was Tarleton. Tarleton was looking for General Sumter, whom they call the Gamecock, and looking also for Francis Marion. But as was his habit, when the British began to get the upper hand and began to chase him too much, Francis Marion and his forces went into the familiar areas of the swamplands, particularly a swampland in Clarendon County of today's name, Ox Swamp. And there he hid himself in the fastnesses of the swamp and the British were unable to find him. It was said that the British General Tarleton, furious and exasperated and totally frustrated, said to his men, let us quit looking for Francis Marion and go and look for the Gamecock. As for this, and he was referring to Francis Marion, as for this damned old fox, the devil himself could not catch him. The name fox, the word swamp fox, became in the legend of Francis Marion, not a, 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 a a curse word, but something to be proud of.